the movements I am doing are called dynamic movements and these movements you know Virat Kohli and Kane Williamson every day they will do it before the match starts for the WTC final in AGS Bowl Southampton this is part of warm up but then this is actually a cricket specific warm up let's go through some of the movements you mark out 20 meters this is a skip and when you do it do it with fun energy and rhythm so opposite little bit of bounce you can do two round number 2 is you can see i'm lunging and get up it's a lunge forward and do high knees so you lunge forward as you get up high knee this side you lunge forward and high knee once you're doing this stretches the hip flexor and it mimics the cricketing action once we go down for a sweep the next one is you drop forward a single leg deadlift and immediately this one you drop forward single leg deadlift and immediately this one again this one also replicates a cricketing movement how this is a stretch for the hamstring and as if you are taking a catch and as you get up rotate as you are playing the pull shot i jog go for single leg deadlift immediately this one i jog single leg deadlift immediately this one so these are called dynamic movements these dynamic movements should be done 5 to 7 minutes there is no fixed rule if the weather is cold like the one in england you will find that these guys who like rishabh pant like for them uh, train bowls they'll be very energized to do all this stuff now i've shown them you can add certain the weave okay getting to the size so this after you perform this for 5 to 7 minutes as i said there is no fixed rule you move on for more intense right usually you do 5 to 8 of these movements and then move on to the intense stuff so i'm coming what is that intense stuff as i'm doing a warm up i must tell you a story shane won the legendary leg spinner he just really gives a real tweak never like the warm up he said that i'm going to bowl man but remember warm up is an integral part it has got a lot of importance it reduces injury it enhances your performance prepares the body you name anything you have a look at jashpreet bumrah especially those guys who are injury prone they have to go through with this warm up because the body uh, i mean the muscles are lengthened the joints are lubricated so importance galore trend ball for example you see how religiously they go through it so as i said my drill gets intense so there it starts i'll start from there it's about one or two stride length you can see this is one this is one right okay this is one so first two or three is like this now it increases one two and three again this is three one two and three from here one two three four So what it what it means is it increases slowly slowly you can see the fast bowlers they gather momentum have you mohammad sami ishan sharma you will see or kyle jamison for example new zealand they will get into it so the asia's bowl we're going to see a lot of fast bowlers and the drill is like this start here i need to go on top of this you can see i go on now i break into it further right as i reach there i need to jog back and there the stride slowly progresses i start with about 60% intensity don't go boom boom at the start gradually increase and you can see i go on top of it now i i need to maintain this and as you can see i have increased i mean from 60 to 70% so i go again you can see i get so gradually the stride length and the intensity increases you do about 6 Six. Now, in English weather, where it's cooler, body takes a little time to get warmed up. You can do up to eight. So this is one style. I love variety, and I tell you that the cricketers will enjoy every day. It's not a mundane stuff. Not the same. Keep changing it so that the interest level remains. And even if they start with a very gloomy, depressed day, they get energized. Now, this is one more variety. So one and one. This is roughly two meters. and from here to there that pole that is 20 meter in distance it's a simple drill 
you start here, like I start here, I go sides, I go sides, and now I go quick. It's a 20 meter distance, and I jump back. So it's a, it's a very unique, more specific to the game of cricket, the sideways movement. Even if you're a fielder or anyone, you need to go sides. So you go, you go, and then from there, you break into it quick strike. It more or less replicates some of the cricketing movement we do. And one more, you can tweak it. So what you can do, you go there and you can see I'm coming inside. And you now go there and you break into it. So even this one, you can do four or five, depending upon the weather. As I said, it's cooler, push yourself. Now after having done all those running activities, it is time for mobility or flexibility, whatever you say. You need to mobilize the joints and stretch the muscles. Very essential, especially for the fast bowler, wicket keepers. Somebody is more flexible and somebody is more tight. You start in this wide leg position. Now that stretches the hamstring. Now slowly walk forward and you take your leg across. So that stretches your glutes. And from there, you get up. And as you do this, stretches your hip flexor. Now you rotate, that's your thoracic spine. Each side you do five times. And this is one of the most crucial part. You got to do this. And once you have done that, you go for the medicine ball. But then, this is one stuff the Indian team loves so much. Especially the Euro soccer going on. After having done the mobility or flexibility stuff, it's time that the Virat Kohli and guy, MS Dhoni, very fond of it. Make two teams make and play around. That's the game. But here with the game, make sure you play three touch or four touch because otherwise they'll be trying to hang on to the ball more like Messi does, more like Ronaldo does. So don't give them because other will come and bang on him. So make restrict the touches, four touches, three touches, play for 10 minutes. Remember, the ultimate game is a game of cricket. So don't get tired playing this game. Now once those intense tasks along with the stretches are over, now what you can do is you can pick the medicine ball up and now what this is called slam. All the cricketers, especially the fast bowler will do this medicine ball slam. This can be 2 kg, 4 kg, whatever, right? Now the next one is, this is more specific to the fast bowling. You take it there and bang. You can do 10 each leg. You go there, bang. Keep changing leg one, this leg goes up and bang. So, 10 each side, you can do two sets, you can do three sets, adjust it according to the loads of the day, your day one, day two, or day three. And one more variety you can do is, just watch, you keep it there, boom. You can throw it to your partner also. It mobilizes the joint more, takes the same pathway through which the game is played. When you bowl the ball, it's like this. When you play the shot, it's recruiting the same muscular, neuromuscular pathway. In the rings of the AGS Bowl in Southampton, Virat Kohli's are already throwing punches at Kane Williamson. So things have already hotened up there. From our part, we'll be bringing you more such absolutely cracker of episode in Fitness Masterclass with Chinmoy in www.cricketworld.com.